Hello, Leo viewers. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks or so. Um, I just tried to do a love reading for you guys and I kept getting a strong energy that there was a few specific Leos that are panicking about finances right now. Um, or you might have had an ex that you might be starting a business and you're not investing in the right things. Um, your, re your relationship with money is negative. There, um, there might be an ex that was using you for money that might be trying to pop back into your life. There was just some kind of warning there with money. Um, so that, that video was supposed to be a love reading, but these cards just kind of say what they want to say. So that ended up being a financial reading. Um, again, it's probably only for a few specific Leos, so it might not be your reading. But um, if that if that energy that I just mentioned resonates with you, go go check that reading out. But this one... I'm not even going to use these cards because these cards are so stubborn. They just, I was trying to do a love reading and they just wanted to talk about finances. So this time around, I'm doing a love reading with these. <laughs> um, so the last reading I did for you guys, uh, what was that? That was like a couple weeks or so ago. I was getting that there was someone who learned a tough karmic lesson and they they had to go see things for themselves. They had to learn things the hard way. I think that you wanted, you were hoping that you guys could just learn and grow together and sort of just build that foundation as a couple. But this person is just stubborn. They, they needed to see things um, for themselves. They needed to learn things the hard way. And now they're, they're wanting to come crawling back to you. <laughs> so we got... Power struggle, toxicity, red flags, hidden motives, reconciliation, clubs, parties, social life, submissive and weak-willed, finances, career, third party, karmic partner, fast-moving energy, mutual feelings, emotional depth. Fear of commitment. Okay, that's... You guys are in some weird energy right now, I swear. I didn't even get this energy last time I read for you guys. I was getting a getting a less complicated energy with the other reading I did for you guys a couple weeks ago. What happened, you guys? What's going on in your lives? This is a weird switch. <laughs> Maybe it's Mercury Retrograde coming up. We'll blame it on Mercury Retrograde. I'm almost a little confused because I felt that energy that I felt with your ex that was feeling nostalgic about you and missing you. This feels like a different person almost. You guys might have like like a couple people that you're either you're talking to or people a couple people that are about to come in. Let me see. Is this? Let me ask. Is this a different person than what I was getting? Sorry. Can you guys see that? Is this a different person? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to look into, God, do you have like three people? Yeah, some of you have three people that it, maybe just come in or that are coming in. You might be caught off guard. Mercury retrograde might be bringing some love back into your life that you're not even expecting. Because this, I think this is a different person. I feel like this is a different person than the one I channeled. Because the one I was channeling a couple weeks ago was someone that was like nostalgic. Like they had to, they were stubborn. They had to go learn things the hard way. But they wanted to come crawling back to you. This energy, I don't, I don't like this energy. This other person is more, is more toxic. There's hidden motives. This could be someone that was using you for money. This could be someone that was either using you for money or they might have cheated on you. And I'm gonna do a reading on the the, the new love or the other person next because I don't, you don't care about this person. You you probably know about this already. You probably you don't want this person. You know that you don't want this person already. I think. But they're wanting to reconcile. You might have gone to clubs or parties together. Maybe it was like during a time in your life um, where you were partying a lot. Yeah, that's when you guys knew each other. They're wanting a reconciliation. They want you to be submissive to them again. But there's something, there's something, some hidden motive here, something toxic here, like like trying to use you for finances, or maybe they are, there's a karmic that's still in their life cheating on you something like they're wanting to come in quick though but they still got this fear of commitment it's like there's still there's something toxic here what do you what's the warning here sadness apology regret hidden truth hmm hmm
it's like they want to apologize for the sadness that they cause. Like they do feel regret, but there's some hidden truth here that caused you pain. Maybe that you're not even, maybe you're just becoming aware of it. Maybe you felt like they cheated, but you didn't know for sure. There's just something, this person is just toxic. I don't know if they cheated. I don't know if they used you for finances. I don't know if they were abusive. I don't know what the situation is. I just get a slimy energy from this person. And so it's just kind of a quick, like, all that, all that's, what is it? All that glitters isn't gold kind of energy here. Where it's like, it might look good on the outside, but there really is some, there is some toxic energy there still. Yeah. There's some, yeah, there's still some toxic energy. But you're going to have to be strong and get through it. Hmm. I still got a fear of commitment. I want to look into the other person, though, because I think the other person was better. I like the other person's energy better. I swear, most of the people that are drawn to my channel have a couple people that are like, they have the ex and they have the new person that's either just come in or coming in. That's like a very strong collective energy I get from most of my zodiac signs. With you, I get that you might actually have three people. <laughs> I, get, I, see, I get three people. I get that there is a toxic ex, that's recent. I think this is a shift because like I said, this is a different person than what I was getting a couple weeks ago. So this person might have just recently started having dreams about you or started something reminded you of reminded you of them or they reminded them of you or you thought about them picking up on each other's energy and now they're thinking about you again. Some kind of toxic energy is there. And then there's a second ex that is um not a bad person, but just just stubborn, just had to go learn things the hard way and now they want to come back in. And there's a third person, a new person that you've either just met or you're going to meet. So your love life is going to get interesting. But I didn't want to stay too long in that energy with a toxic ex because I don't think... I mean, I think that you do have some feelings for them, but I think that you know that they were using you or that they were abusive or toxic. Like, I think you know. You know what I mean? And you don't want to stay stuck in that energy. Show me the ex that I channeled a couple weeks ago. Show me, please, 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 clear and direct messages. The ex that I channeled a couple weeks ago. Spying on you. Mental instability. We got third party distraction, karmic, reconciliation, stagnation, complacency, vulnerability, receptivity, spying. Could even be that you're talking to other people and that they kind of know that you're talking to someone or they know that they might not have a chance with you. Divine intervention, synchronicity, new love, fear of commitment. Yeah. Okay. So this divine, your guides might step in and say, you know what, this person's not good enough for you either. I really feel like there's three people because I feel like I feel two exes, but I feel like one is more toxic than the other. Does that make sense? I hope this is resonating because this is a really weird reading that I'm getting for you guys. <laughs> you guys are in some strange energy <laughs> and this could be coming up because I feel like a shift. Like I feel like something reminded this toxic ex about you and now they're thinking about you. You know what I mean? Like maybe they had a dream about you during the new moon or like they just maybe they bumped into you somewhere or like they saw an old saw one of your mutual friends or just something reminded them of you and now they're you're kind of on their mind but this is the ex that's not as toxic um but i think the divine is going to intervene anyway and be like you know what this isn't good enough for you either you want new love you don't want someone that's terrified of commitment but you got someone spying on you here there's something with the karmic though i don't know if you're with someone or they're with someone they're wanting that reconciliation, but they're kind of stagnant about it. It's like they're they're vulnerable and they're receptive and open to you, but they're not saying it. They're just spying and watching you and kind of missing you. I think that their pride is wounded because this is the person. You were almost like, I don't want to say you were like a mother or father figure to them, but like, because that sounds weird in a romantic relationship to say it like that, but it, it's kind of like. You were like the wise, mature one. You were the one that was kind of trying to push them to do better in life. Or you were, you were their rock. You were their stability. You were the one that was trying to get them to 
maybe seek counseling or seek help, or maybe you were trying to get, the, what is that energy? Was, or are you, are you Leo's the ones that I was channeling where I was saying your person's trying to seek counseling, like you were pushing them to seek counseling? God, who was I just saying that for? I'm trying to think. But there's some kind of strange energy here with that where it's like, it's, it's like you were like their rock. You were like kind of pushing them to do better. Like you were, I don't know if you were actually saying anything or it was just like your energy, like they felt like they weren't good enough for you, like they needed to do more. Maybe they needed to, maybe they have some mental instability. They need, they knew that they needed to seek counseling if they were going to, um, you know, heal and be able to get past these commitment issues and have a stable, healthy relationship with you. There's just some sort of sense that they felt like they weren't on your level. Like they felt like they were below you. They, um, and it's like, you wanted to just grow with them. You wanted to help them through their issues. You wanted to support them. Like you knew that they were damaged and you loved them anyway, but I don't think they, they could accept that someone would love them as damaged as they are. You know, they just kind of self-sabotaged everything and just pushed you away. Um, but I, I just feel like, God, this energy is interesting. It's like they were just stubborn. Like that you wanted to, you, you didn't want them to have to learn the hard way. You, you saw a clear path. You were kind of the more dominant, assertive one in the relationship where it's like, you wanted to just kind of pull them in and say, okay, we're going to heal together. We're going to, we're going to go, go through this together. I'm going to help you through this. Like you had like a life plan for you guys and they just sort of went down a different path instead. Um, they were stubborn. They needed to learn things the hard way. And I think that they had, I think that life has not been kind to them lately. I think that they had a, a wake up call. I think they went through some tough karmic lessons. Could be that they chose someone else over you. Um, something that they thought was easier. They thought it was more whatever. And now this is turning out to be toxic. And they're like wanting to run away from this karmic person now. They're they're wishing that they had just chosen you to begin with, and they're wanting to reconcile with you. Um, there's just there's some kind of energy where it's like they were just so stubborn and they just had to they had to go down their own path because you kind of wanted to like baby them and take care of them and teach them these lessons and help them grow up and mature, but it just didn't really work. It was like they they needed to. Um, you were just a lot more mature than them. You were a lot wiser than them. You were a lot more stable than they are. You know, you were very grounded and they were drawn to that energy. But at the same time, it's almost like they were like a stubborn little child. They just, they had to go out in the, in the world and just experience things for themselves. And I'm like, why did they, I'm trying to think, why were they like that? I'm trying to, I'm trying to see, I mean, I know I keep repeating it, but I'm trying to see like what the energy is behind that. Like if there's, if I can channel anything more about that. Um, cause I just get like major karmic lessons where it's like, they were just, they're just, uh, they're just difficult. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> um, but it didn't go well for them. Whatever happened, it's like they're, they thought they were going to go on some fun adventure and everything was going to be great and life smacked them in the face. And now they're wanting to come back and reconcile. I feel like at the moment they're just spying they're kind of stagnant and complacent. I feel like it's pride too. It's part of the complacency is like they they know that they should have listened to you. They know that they should have just stayed with you. They know that they should have just worked through things with you, just committed to you, just stayed where they were at, just listened to you because you were wise. You were giving them guidance and they were probably... Maybe, maybe you actually... For some of you, maybe you actually verbally gave them guidance and tried to help them and they kind of ha like weren't sure about it or they pushed it away or they pretended like they knew everything and now they're looking back and thinking about your words of wisdom and wishing that they had listened to you but their pride is wounded because it's like they know they messed up and they want to come crawling back but they're like embarrassed too you know because they know that they should never have left to begin with but they are vulnerable they're just not telling you they're vulnerable and they're just kind of spying on you you know, like physically they're kind of cold and guarded, but like inside they're vulnerable to you. There's still some mental instability there. But like I said, I feel like your guides are going to say, screw this. This person is a child, a little girl or a little boy. They're again, they're not as toxic as the other ex I was picking up, but they're still not good enough for you. You got new love coming in. Let's see the new love. 
Pause, reflection, rest, isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Love offer, commitment, yeah. Someone who's had a lot of life experience. I feel like this ex hadn't had a lot of life experience. I feel like you were a lot more mature and much wiser than them. And I feel like if you kind of pause and reflect and rest, eventually you're not going to want them back. I think that you just want them because you're caught up in this drama with them. But I feel like if you were to give it some time, you wouldn't want them anymore. I feel like this new person that comes in feels alone a lot. Like they have a hard time connecting with people. Um, they feel kind of isolated sometimes. I feel like they've had a lot of life experience, though. Like, they're more mature and wise, kind of more on your level. And they'd be more willing to give you this love offer, this commitment that you want. Could be someone that you've met or that you'll meet out in, like, socially, like, clubs, parties. Sadness, taking it slow. Yeah, you'll have to take it slow with this person, either because of their pain or because of yours. You might not be over the X. Or it's possible they're not there that they're still healing from something. Um, I think that you guys will both be kind of damaged, kind of like you know, kind of like two impasse that have been through a lot. Uh, so you might need to take it slow because you don't want to make them a rebound. You know, you you want to kind of slowly get to know them so that it doesn't lead to pain. You don't want to just you want to actually do it right this time with this person. You know, yeah, avoid the manipulation and deception. You still got a hidden truth coming about, about the ex, I think, that you're going to have to get through. And I think that might be part of the sadness, part of taking things slow. That, that that's This truth that came out, I think, kind of damaged you. Or the truth that is coming out with this ex. Maybe you're starting to realize this person used you and it's kind of hurting you. And it's like, you got to get through that pain. Um, just so that you don't project all that negativity onto this new person. Because you don't want to, like, sabotage this new love just because of what the toxic ex did. You know what I mean? Yeah, it could have been some cheating with the toxic ex. Okay. I don't care about the ex, though. Show me the new person. Show me the new person. <laughs> yeah, this is, again, this person is more on your level. I sense more of, I sense someone who has their own finances, like somebody who's not going to be using you financially. Somebody who's more mature and stable, um, grounded. Somebody who... Um, I feel like, I don't want to say they're going to be like closer in age, like, or like maybe it's like maturity I'm picking up. Like they're, they're as mature and as wise as you, like they've had the same life experiences you have. So they're going to match your energy. They're going to be on your level more. Yeah. And they're going to be cour courageous and assertive and want to move forward. And I think this is someone who's like probably older, to, not like old, old, but like They've seen a lot already, and they know that they want marriage and commitment. This isn't somebody who's still figuring their life out and still, you know. I, I, get, I feel the age difference almost because the other person I was channeling kind of seemed like they were still young and immature, like they needed to go out and experience this and experience that and find themselves, and they didn't know who they were, didn't know what they wanted. And this person is like... I don't know if they're physically older. It's like mentally, like emotionally, like they're an older soul. But it's kind of like they they've been there, done that already. They've 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 seen it all already. You know what I mean? Like they've traveled, they've lived their life, they've had all these life experiences, and they know that they want love and commitment and that they want to settle down. They don't need to play games, they don't want to run around, like they're just they're ready to find their person. You know, they're ready for you to come in. And you guys might be psychically connecting to dreams, visions, telepathy. They might be manifesting you just as you're manifesting them. It's like you're calling in this relationship and they're calling it in too. And you're starting to have this new perspective with this person. Yeah, adventure, honeymoon, vacation, might be traveling together, might be... This person's going to be more financially stable. This is someone who like probably owns their own business or they have their... They've got their own job. They're someone who's, who's well established, I think. Um, that's just the energy I get at least. So I hope this resonates. Thank you for watching. If it does resonate, um, I do private readings. My email is below. Um, any donations are also appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up. My PayPal link is below too. And um, if this resonates, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.